In this video, you will learn how to print the center blocks of the Dear Jane quilt. Now I do have the Dear Jane classic quilt open on my screen and I did that by opening the master project and then I saved it with a new name. Don't forget that is very important to save it with a new name so I'm not working in the master. Now to print these blocks, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it directly from the quilt work table or you can edit each one from the sketchbook and print them from the block work table. I'm just going to switch over to the block work table and show you what I mean by that first, but mostly we'll be working on the quilt work table for this demonstration. So if you wanted to print from the block work table, you could either open up this quilt project or you can start a brand new project and just add the blocks from the block library to your sketchbook. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to view project sketchbook over on the left and then it might be showing the quilt section. You need to click on the block section. So if I wanted to print the templates or rotary cutting or foundation piecing for this block, I would simply click select that block and then click edit. Now that it's on the block work table, I can choose print and export and choose my options there. Other than that, there's no difference than printing from the quilt work table. I am going to switch back to the quilt work table because that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So to print these blocks, you do need to be on the print and export tab at the top. And then you need to first select the block you want to print. Right now I have this A1 block selected. Once you have it selected, it is showing that I have it's four and a half by four and a half, which is what I want to print as. And this is a finished size. So make sure you, you know that this is the finished size of the block. So let's just start with templates. So with it selected, click on templates. Now again, use size from quilt is selected and that's pulling in the four and a half by four and a half. I would like to add a quarter inch seam allowance. So that's why that is selected. I have this checked. If you don't like the dashed or the dotted seam allowance, you can use a solid seam allowance. Other than that, there's not too much you need to change here. So go ahead and click preview. And there are your templates. These are small blocks, so you should be able to fit everything on one page. You can move them around if you need to. But again, since there's very few pieces and it's a small block, you shouldn't have to do too much changing here. So go ahead and close and with the block still selected, I'm going to click on foundation. Now with the foundation dialog open, it does open up to the sections tab and this gives you a chance to resection this block if you don't like how it's sectioned here. Feel free to look at the EQ8 documentation on foundation piecing. That should give you all the information you need to do that here. You can click over to the numbering tab and see if there's any changes you want to make there. And then back over to the options tab. You can make sure all of your settings here are good. Again, four and a half by four and a half with a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, I do have my color fill on and mirroring is checked. So I'll go ahead and click preview. And here is the foundation pattern for this block. Again, small blocks, everything fits nicely on one page. And then the rotary cutting. So with the block still selected in the quilt, choose rotary cutting. Now I do show four and a half by four and a half. This is where it gets tricky because the four and a half size is a typical size that will work well with a lot of the calculations. So make sure you keep an eye on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to view it with one eighth inch rounding turned on and then we're going to go back and turn the rounding off and compare to see if this block is a good block to be rotary cut. So one eighth rounding turned on and click preview. And if I zoom in here, I have a two inch square that I have to cut and then sub cut one and five inch square and one and three eighth inch square and then sub cut. So those are the instructions I have for B, C, and D. Now notice I did not get anything for A. This A patch, EQ sees this as not being rotary cuttable because it's not a nice shape 
for it to, to be rotary cuttable. So that's why you're only getting B, C, and D. So in those cases, any patches that do not show up on the rotary cutting chart, you're, you'll want to go and print templates for those. So again, we have two inch, one and five eighths, and one and three eighths. So let's go back and choose no rounding and see what we get for that. So this first one was two inches. That's pretty close to two inches, but again, you will have a little bit of rounding. This is spot on, one and five eighths. And then this one was one and three eighths, I believe, with the rounding turned on, so 1.375. So that is a little bit more off than, than one might like. So just keep that in mind. If you do choose to rotary cut this block, the rounding might cause some of your dimensions to not be as accurate. So that's one little warning we do want to give you for printing the rotary cutting for these blocks. So that is how you print your patterns for the center blocks. Please watch the other videos on how to print the triangles and the kites and the scallop borders.